And welcome to the first installment of our series on the access method. I'm Matthew Clark and I'm excited to embark on this journey with you. But before we dive in, what exactly is the access method and why should you care? In the era of information overload, a structured and efficient method to organize our digital thoughts can be the difference between chaos and clarity. The Access Method, a brainchild of Nick Milo from Linking Your Thinking Initiative, is here to revolutionize how we think about personal knowledge management. Nick has been a leading figure in the PKM movement and a friend to the Obsidian community. Guiding countless individuals as they step into this domain, his approach simplifies complex knowledge systems, making it more intuitive for digital natives. The Access Method is a perfect blend, balancing the Zettelkasten's flat structure with the more familiar and user-friendly folder structure, something most of us have been using in our digital lives. And guess what amplifies its efficiency? The integration with Obsidian, an innovative platform that truly harmonizes productivity elements to create a symphony for your tasks. And so, for the next month, you're challenged with embracing the Access Method. Together, we'll delve into its strengths, weaknesses, and find the best way to harness its potential. And most importantly, we'll explore the alternatives that might be more suitable for the diverse needs. Let's get started right away with our initial folder structure, which is the seven folders coupled with maps. And so our core folders are encounters, atlas, calendar, cards, extras, sources, and spaces. You'll also want to keep a home note in the root of your obsidian vault. And so our first stop is the plus encounters folder. Consider this your digital catches mitt. From pleading notes to emerging ideas, this folder captures them all in raw and unfiltered form. So let's create an idea in our encounters folder. Let's open it up. And give it the name of today's date in epoch format and idea. And as you can see on the left, this sits in our encounters folder there and you can see our other notes from our other videos. And now for our note, this could be anything. This could be a book, a to-do item, a link to review later, a YouTube video. All of, all of these things are things that would go in this spot. This is your go-to spot. Remember, frequent touch-ups keep this space efficient. Now it's also essential to process these notes regularly, making sure that you don't pile up and get lost in the clutter with all of the notes that are in there. So what you wanna do is think of this with an inbox zero type approach where maybe once a week, once a day, you're going through this and actually processing them. And from there, they'd go into your cards or your sources or even your spaces if they're more targeted to work that you're actually doing in other places. And as these notes mature, you'll find their home in other folders, transforming from mere encounters to refined pieces of knowledge. But more on that in our upcoming sessions. And so that wraps our introductory session on the access method. Join us in our next session as we deep dive into the heart of this structure and set up our knowledge system step by step. Until then, start pondering those fleeting thoughts and get ready to you access them in a new light. If you like this content, please feel free to like and subscribe. You have no idea how long this took me to make. With special thanks to Nick Milo and the Linking Your Thinking community. Also make sure to check out his work there. He's the creator of the work and he does a course on this, this uh, content. So uh, you might get more value out of what he's got to offer. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time. Cheers.